The core concept of Plate Up consists of two main things, cooking food for your customers and then cleaning the dishes so that you can serve more. So let's try to beat Plate Up without doing either of those. In the new Christmas map, there are elf huts that can help you with certain tasks, so our challenge is to play the game without cooking a dish, cleaning any plates or floors, and not performing any task that gives a progress bar, such as doing research or using the phone. I'm not sure how hard this will be early on, it might just be a lot of running back and forth since I have to use the huts for basically everything, but it may get easier as we get more conveyors. But anyways, if you like the video, like the video. Enjoy the rest of the video. But the only thing is, is like, these can swap around. So the blue could start feeding this direction. Which is the only issue. I could maybe just stockpile some on this conveyor. Oh, thank you. All you want is pink fish. Yeah, I probably just bring over a couple at the start of the day. I do like the dish set up here. Is blue significantly slower? Uh, it's noticeably slower, but it's not that much slower. Okay, one blue. I'll be right back. Let me run across the <laughs> entire restaurant. There you go. Now let me get you this pink one. We are not making a ton of money. But that's okay. Um. Hmm. We'll buy this. And we're going to start making our way. <laughs> Slowly but surely. We are two blocks closer. Not gonna keep research. So I think by only using huts during the day, I can't do anything that uh, is a process. Like anything that shows this bar here, I can't do during the day, which researching requires that. So I would only use it to hold stuff. The only processes are being done by the huts. I am just running around. All right, let's bring some uh, some blue. Okay, there you are. Put the blueprints through the huts. You're right. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab another blue. Giraffe. Mm. No cleaning messes that either. All I do is pick up and put down. <laughs> that is all I am allowed to do. No cooking, no cleaning. Well, I'll get the pink first.
But luckily we are given gra or conveyors every day, so we can slowly move the blue into the kitchen. Or whatever the fish is. Spiny fish requires portioner, and we don't have portioner. So we have to take all you can eat. Because I don't think... I don't think the hut portions. So we'll do all you can eat. Yeah, let's rearrange this a little bit. Yeah, we can we can get like a stockpile. I think like prep station is really good. Um, let's see, do this. Bring this over here. Start of the day, we just send a couple across. Oh, I gotta move it back one. Well, I guess I'll be able to buy one more. We'll see what we get, though. Dish rack, I don't think is that good. Because we're cleaning pretty efficiently. I think. Hmm... Yeah, I think this is good. Oh, see, now the fish swapped. Which I guess isn't that big of a deal. It only stocks up two. Yeah, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. Mm. No desk. No, uh, nothing that has a progress bar during the day. So no researching. Same with, uh, the phone. Come give me this pink fish. This is probably the best auto dish setup. It's so much faster than anything. Like, I feel like this map's really good for auto dishes. I think the huts are probably best used for auto dishes. You know what? Now that we have blues, let's just do this while we wait. The blues cook kind of fast. <laughs> All right, so if we ever need blues, they'll be over here. Or if blues are ever on the opposite side. And no one wanted seconds there. Which kind of sucks. I kind of need more money. Give me another conveyor, please. We're slowly making our way. <laughs> Let's see. We need one, two, three, four, five. We need six more. Plates in the dining room. I like the plates feeding back here. Because I have to run up here to get the fish anyways. So...
Doesn't really make a huge difference. Okay, there's five pinks. We're only going to use those stocked up blues if blue is not uh, up here easily accessible. No seconds. Is the fish thing on the conveyors between the days a bug? They're supposed to. Basically, this all the conveyors outside, because it is snow, it is technically a freezer. I guess I could have a small stack of plates over here for like the, the redfish or whatever fish is there for that day. But then this plate stack could get piled up. We'll load up another. Blue fish. But for some reason, these conveyors aren't treated as freezers, I don't think. Man, the, <laughs> the all-you-can-eat with no one ordering seconds makes it so slow. I wonder what the odds of people ordering seconds are. Okay, the day's just over. <laughs> hmm. All right, we get another conveyor. Five more. We got any free stuff? Yeah, Christmas tree. I don't think I want to spend money to get towards um any of that. I'll put the tree right here. Oh, we're getting close on this. And if we get a grabber, that's double the space because we can use a counter alongside with it. Here, we'll grab your plate. Bring plates around the outside and fish through the two entrances. Taking plates all the way over here. Hmm. Can you reroll? Yes, I just don't really have much money. I can do anything uh, during the prep phase. Bluefish, I got you. Ever since I put all these bluefish outside, they have not been uh, coming from this way. <laughs> Oh, the plate's this way. So I would ship it up and around. Oh. 
I like that. Okay, well, let's, uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good, that's good. Get rid of these. One second, Skyboy. I'm gonna load up the whole kitchen, or whole restaurant with some bluefish. Uh, throw that away. Throw that away. I see you're patiently waiting. Hold up. It will keep the plates though, so you might have an issue with clearing tables. Like I might get too many is what you're saying. Increased chance of double orders. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Imagine waiting to order and the chef is just running through and putting all the food outside in the bin. <laughs> So like this. I don't think we'll overfill. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be all right. Because this one won't stay over the rounds. And then this one won't stay over rounds. So we'll have at least two and we're only serving two at a time. So I don't think it's a problem. Potentially. We'll see. We'll see. And then once we connect this, oh, we'll be looking good. Oh, we'll be feeling good. And then it just sends right back here. Oh yeah. I love how I'm still getting increased chance of double orders and they're not double ordering. Let's see if you double order. Here's a blue. Here's a, oh, here's a pink. Oh, yeah, you double order. And then the next day, we'll get stocked up on plates. And now let's go send some blues across. Let's hope you won't send a fish back on the place conveyor. Okay, so that's why I think it's a good idea to have the plates stack here. Because then the fish can't go in there. So then the fish will just get stopped right here. I could put the dish rack right here and it'd be easier to plate the fish. Instead of like having to hit twice to like place it down and pick it back up. But I don't know which is better. And also, if a fish gets stuck in the, the loop, it's not a huge deal. If I were to put, like, the dish rack right here. Alright, 
right, we're just working on conveyors. There's another one. Let's get a uh, floor protector. Since I can't clean the floors. And maybe a third dining table. Mm, do this. Hold up. There we go. Okay, and then... Yeah, this seems good. Yeah, so I could do dish rack right here. Or the plate stack right here. But... It's so weird that how the day ended, the plate is stuck up there. <laughs> Weird. Okay, I think I'm fine with this. I don't think the, the picking up and placing down really bothers me. Mm. Oh, we're so close to getting this going. All right, now the plates are all full. Which is great. Hang a second. While I'm waiting, restock the blues. How many do we have left here? One, two, three, four. Only four more and we're good. What would you care for? I think of other ways to make this better. Challenge where you beat plate up without being in the same room as the customers. Use the bottom hut and conveyor to serve one table on day one. Come on, this one. Um, I would have to take their orders. I think is the only issue. So day one, don't think it'd be possible. Unless I could like do it over a window like this. If you get a combiner, can you then auto plate? Or just an auto plater? But the thing is, I wouldn't want it... Because if it's auto-plating just one fish, then how do I plate the other fish? Ooh, two, double conveyor? We're going twice as fast. <laughs> oh, we're that much closer. We are that much closer. Do I roll? Is it worth it? Maybe. I think I might. Because if I can roll and get a grabber...
Let's see what we get. Oh, okay. Prep station's usable. Um, coffee table's also usable. Does Hut get rid of bones for spiny fish? I don't know. That's why I didn't take spiny fish. I was offered it. I don't think it does. So I would have to have a portioner already at the uh, at the ready. Um. Okay, I think I'm good. Just two more conveyors. And then we're, I mean, we're feeling great. The only thing is, is we don't want to... Like, I think our cards are going to be the biggest uh, issue here. Why is it so weird to place on this? Huh. Okay. Let's see. Blue. Pink. Let's go ahead and take this blue out. And then... Um, actually, I can fill pinks later. I don't need to do it now. have that many customers if you order more than six pinks but i know fillets does work because it chops and then cooks i think is how it goes i think it always chops first and then we can also take oysters Prep station is going to fill up between rounds. It's not a frozen prep, so I think we should be good. All right, double blues. Uh-oh, we got two groups of customers. We're swamped. Hold up, what do you want? You want, okay, pink's fine. Do you want seconds? You or did you already order seconds is the question. Mm. All right, what do we get? Oysters? Yeah, we can do oysters. Conveyor. The floor buffer is not a process, so we could take floor buffer. We just need one more conveyor. And then we're good. Um, Do we save floor buffer? I guess we can. Actually, I kind of want to roll down here. I want to hit the conveyor. I want to hit a conveyor or a grabber. Ooh, we've done it. Yeah, I could have moved the prepped one further away. This is such a long line of conveyors. Uh, okay, there's that one. There's that one. All right, we're good. And then we buy a floor protector. Mm. 
We then... We can just throw this in the cabinet. All right, I think we're good. All right, so the blues are done. We don't care about them. Station is going to fill up the start new round because you have three conveyors outside. Oh, I mean, that's the same case for like these two blues that I have to manually get rid of. We just have to like have counters to place them on if they swap. I guess I can just make like a triple just to have handy. So much for these uh, floor mats. <laughs> yeah, if I can... Yeah, now I'm working on getting these to send down this direction. That's the next upgrade. And then I'm just going to be in the dining room with everyone. But then we do need counters to place. Or just like trash cans. So maybe I look for a trash can. I guess I didn't have to throw away my starter trash can at the first day. Oh, the triple oyster, you say? Here you go. Why'd you throw out the phone? The phone is a process. The trash can I didn't have to throw out, though. So we just wait. <laughs> no one wants to come to our restaurant. Can the elves call for you if you pick up the phone <laughs> and then throw it in the hut? Man, for having two cards that make us get seconds and make them more likely, we aren't getting many people wanting seconds. I have the resources. Are you the last customer? Oh, you want two? Can I give you three? Or is that just like, you don't like the free one? Okay. But I'll give you, you you'll take a side for free is what you will do. Okay, just a decoration round, but we do get a conveyor. We're working our way towards the, uh, towards the door. Yeah, I'm fine with this. Yeah, so now, trash these, because now it's just pinks and blues. Yeah, that's the thing. Oysters are so expensive. If someone gave me three oysters when I asked for two, I would not turn them down. <laughs> oh, you want seconds? How exciting. I can probably also auto bus at some point with more grabbers. 
maybe. Fish on outside don't stay between rounds. Yes, this this little area is not a freezer. But the like outside the fences they are. Two pinks can do. Once I don't have to go through these doors, I'll be so happy. These doors slow you down so much. Yeah, that's what I want. And then I can get another prep station, hopefully. Trey would be good. Yeah, maybe we look for Trey. Oh. Actually, I guess maybe we can use the other plate stack. We can use both plate stacks. We can have the small one right here so that I don't have to place down and pick up. And then I can keep this one up here, just in case. And then this could be a dirty dish rack, so there's no way I place fish on it. Because I'm gonna close off this door eventually. So I need to make it where I can't mess up. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for dirty dish rack. Probably first and then tray. Oh, I, <laughs> I thought we were done. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Oh, excuse me. All right, there's your blue fish. Yeah, dish rack is what we want. Yeah, and dish rack will be good for Trey, so we can place it down instantly. By the conveyor, we can do a little roll. Yeah, we got some money. We roll for a uh, dish rack. Dish rack. Portioner. We buy the portioner because we could uh, get spine. Actually, no, we're not going to take spiny fish. Let's just roll again. One more. That's so upsetting. I just wasted so much money. <laughs> could have gotten trainers, yeah. But since I can't clean, might not be worth it. Or I could just buy the mop. Eh, I'll wait. I don't think I care for it. Yeah, we'll do this. Coffee table, yeah, why not? Um, there we go. Hmm. Yeah, this is fine. Do I need to rearrange anything? Yes. Yeah, 
I mean, that is a lot faster. But then, and then dish track here is fantastic. But yeah, trainers right here would suck. Can't you just do every other conveyor? It has to be a grabber to do that. Because if I put a conveyor right here, it wouldn't take it off the counter. Sadly. Okay, pink fish. But if we grab if we find a grabber, we buy it and then we can use two squares instead of one. True, just a counter instead of dirty dish rack. So I don't have to like run all the way around. Oh, this mess is tough. <laughs> Maybe I should have bought the mop. <laughs> oh, well. This floor protector doesn't really matter anymore. Yeah, probably true. Probably true. This one right here is pretty good, though. Excuse me. Pink. And then blue. Robot mop seems more in the spirit of the challenge. That is also true. Honestly, just fi five protectors is the goal. Just along this bottom side. And the robot is great. So I should have probably just bought that other protector when I saw it. Instead of risking it for a dish rack. Oh, excuse me. There we go. But we're almost shipping the fish down through the first door, which is going to help a lot. Mm. Okay, show me dish rack. Spiny fish? Customer orders are hidden on your back. Can't do spiny fish. They really want to give us spiny fish, don't they? Another conveyor. I think I go for another roll. Yeah, I think I'm a roll. I'm fine with... I don't really care that much about the robot buffer. Or do I? Eh, nah, I'll save it. I think I'm surviving without it. It'll be nice to have eventually. Um, please. There we go. Um, there we are. Yeah, this is nicer. And then... That helps. And, okay, so I need... I'm going to use these two counters right here. I mean, it's not going to matter in, like, one turn. I was going to say to trash stuff. I think we're good. No rolls. I think I can survive. It's only six groups. Yeah. 
Yeah, so like here, this blue can go here. And then just place you down. A lot of... Oh, I forgot. Three and two. Oysters may be... How I lose. <laughs> Another prep station would be nice. Have a good one, Mandra. Oh, you you want so many oysters. Oh, you want oysters as well. Let's see. Let me get all these plates out. Pink fish, thank you. Good for money, though. How much do oysters give? I wasn't really looking. Pretty plate the two oysters. That's true. Like here. I could just pre plate a triple whenever I have downtime. And make doubles when they come. So let's see. Two oysters sells for eight. Does three sell for more? Oh, not that. Eight. Oh, okay. So the triple still sold for eight. That is a scam. <laughs> is the same price? Hello? Does anyone want any oysters? They're cold. And that's a good thing. Most of the time, my cold food is not how it's supposed to be. <laughs> Man, no one's wanting the triples. Yeah, prep station for oysters is going to be nice. Do either of you want a triple? Of course, of course not. You both want doubles. But for the same price, you could get three. I wouldn't even charge you any extra. Okay. Two conveyors. Now we're moving along. Okay, yeah, that's great. So we go... We get the robot buffer. Huge upgrade. And then we get... Conveyor. Where's the other one? Wish there was a way to remove doors. Yeah, doors are kind of annoying that they slow you down so much. Okay. Kind of need a trash can. Hold up. I need to... I'm going to put my cabinet in here so it's less effort to move everything. Let's just save something. We're looking pretty good now. Hmm. Swap prep station and counter. This prep station and this counter? Or are you saying just a random one so I can prep either one? Because we don't know which one the oysters are going to come through.
Like I could do this and I could fill with whatever I want. I kind of, I think I just wait for, uh, for multiple. All right. I mean, this is good. I'm blocked in, but I think that's fine. There's no reason to go out. The only reason I would need to go out is if I accidentally place a fish here, but I think we have enough plates to where we could make it the whole day. And then I have just garbage outside. Which is great. Would like a little, like a closer option probably. Let's see, double, double. More doubles. Oh yeah, oyster with prep is no deal at all. Let's see, place these. I think Trey is, Trey and Dish Rack are the next upgrades. Probably the only upgrades. I don't know how we get better than this. <laughs> Figuring out a auto bus situation. I don't know how we do that. It's very cramped and like this corner Giraffe. and this like have to be the two spots for it. I don't think we can auto bus really. Looking dish rack here, prep here, tray, and that's it. Maybe some trainers. Thank you so much for the two months, Zuz. But honestly, I'd probably be faster than auto busing with trainers in a tray. Teleporter could make it work, yeah. But the only thing is, is since we can't research, we have to find two raw uh, teleporters. And we have to buy them uh, for full price. <laughs> so while maybe that's a late, late goal, if we can make it that far. Because we can save them in the blueprint cabinet and then save up for them. Here's your triples. I mean, this is a pretty good setup. Even if I was allowing myself to do anything, I would probably have it like this. <laughs> um, okay, one more conveyor. I think I don't care about another blueprint cabinet. Actually, I guess I can to help roll for stuff. And I don't roll this turn. Yeah, that seems fine. Another table could work. Like this. Um, maybe, let's see. I have to get rid of the coffee table. Um... 
Yeah, now I can serve four. I think it's a little better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll do that. Grab this. Grab something to save. One cedar coffee. Can't really fit anything. I think four tables is better than three and an extra coffee. It has to be, right? I'd rather them just be sitting waiting for food than sitting waiting to sit. Yeah. Where's the best place for this? Maybe just right here. Hmm. I think it's fine. All right, get rid of pinks. Triples. Not in the prep is kind of annoying. Your mess will be a lot worse. Yeah, but I have a very small area now, so hopefully this robot can do a decent amount. Yeah, we really want prep. I think we roll down next turn. Another triple. There should be a card where you see the customer's orders. They sit at coffee tables. Like, you know what preemptively they're going to order. Um, maybe could be good. But yeah, cards normally aren't benefits. I think there's only one that is. Where co like customers order without waiting, I think, is somewhat of a benefit, I would say. There's a couple that like kind of pose is not good, but I think they're actually good to take. Give you the blue, give you the blue. What was that, a triple and a double? Yep. Oh. They should add the plus 30% for the coffee table one. Plus 30? Just to see what they want to eat? That's so bad. <laughs> Giraffe. Plus 30 is insane. There's that one card that just straight up gives what? Plus 25%? Plus 30% customers now eat at coffee tables. <laughs> it just converts the $40 coffee tables to $20 tables. And now you have to worry about serving them. And you get 30% more customers.
I mean, this restaurant's looking kind of good. I like this layout. We're not really doing much of anything. <laughs> Alright, get you your blue. Yeah, I think that's it. It will be hard if we get like an appetizer or a dessert or something, because they'll then order that twice, so then four orders total. But until then, I think this is great. That's 15 days. 